Hey there, food enthusiasts! Welcome back to another exciting episode where we explore the latest trends and innovations in the culinary world. Today, we're diving into a topic that's buzzing in the culinary world lab-grown food. This isn't just a sci-fi concept anymore, it's becoming a reality. Is it the future of our plates or a culinary disaster waiting to happen? The debate is heating up and opinions are divided. Let's start from the beginning. To understand where we're headed, we need to look at where we've been. Picture this, from prehistoric hunting to modern agriculture, and now, to lab-grown food. Our journey with food has been nothing short of revolutionary, we've come a long way. But what exactly is lab-grown food? How did we get here and why is it such a big deal? Lab-grown food includes meat cultivated from animal cells, microbial proteins, and even 3D printed foods. These innovations are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in food science. Imagine a world where your burger didn't come from a cow but from a bioreactor. Sounds crazy, right? But it's happening. Scientists are making strides in creating meat that doesn't require animal slaughter. Now let's talk about the advantages. Why are so many people excited about lab-grown food? Lab-grown food is seen as a revolutionary step towards sustainability. It promises to reduce the environmental impact of traditional farming. Animated graphics show a significant reduction in carbon footprint, which is crucial in our fight against climate change. Additionally, lab-grown food uses less water and land compared to conventional farming methods. This efficiency could help preserve our natural resources. That's a big win for Mother Earth. Imagine a world where we can feed the population without depleting our planet's resources. Health-wise, lab-grown foods come without antibiotics or hormones. This could mean fewer health risks associated with antibiotic resistance and hormone-related issues. Think about products like cultivated meat and cow-free milk. These innovations are not just healthier but also cater to ethical concerns about animal welfare. We're talking about feeding 10 billion people without wrecking the planet. As our population grows, sustainable food sources become increasingly important. But hold on, is it all sunshine and rainbows? Like any innovation, lab-grown food comes with its own set of challenges. Let's dig into the potential downsides. What are the concerns that skeptics have about this new food technology? Social acceptance is a huge hurdle. Many people are wary of food that doesn't come from traditional sources. Some people just can't get past the unnatural factor. And the cost? Lab-grown food can be pricey compared to traditional options, making it less accessible for the average consumer. Lab-grown food can be pricey compared to traditional options. This economic barrier could slow down its widespread adoption. Then there are the health risks. We don't yet know the long-term effects of consuming these lab-grown goodies. Are they really safe? We don't yet know the long-term effects of consuming these lab-grown goodies. Are they really safe? This is a question that needs thorough research and answers. That's a question we need answers to, so what's the verdict? Is lab-grown food the future or just a passing trend? Experts are divided. Some see lab-grown food as the solution to global food crises, offering a sustainable and ethical alternative to traditional farming. While others are skeptical about its naturalness and safety, they argue that we need more time and research to fully understand the implications. The debate is very much alive. Both sides present compelling arguments, making it a topic worth exploring further. To wrap it up, picture this. A plate with lab-grown food on one side and traditional food on the other. The choice isn't just about taste, it's about ethics, sustainability, and health. Which one would you choose? The decision is more complex than it seems, and it ultimately comes down to personal values and priorities. The future of food is in our hands, and the debate is open. As we move forward, it's crucial to stay informed and engaged in these discussions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more juicy debates about the future of food. Your engagement helps us bring more insightful content to you. Catch you in the next video. Stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of food.